Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today I want to show you just a little tiny repair you can make on your HS carburetor. Neil Wood came in today and he said he bumped he bumped his uh, his jet and the uh, and the the end of the jet. This isn't his jet, but the end of it came out of here. He he unscrewed this from the bottom of the float bowl. Oh my gosh, what's supposed to be there? This is little tiny stuff here, but let's take take a look. So we have we have the jet and around the jet goes goes the gland nut and then we have a, a washer oh boy if you don't have this my guess is ace hardware doesn't either but anyway you want to have that and then you've got a number eight o-ring now these are viton uh, be, to uh, make them impervious to this gasoline that the uh, the government has is conspired to give us um, Anyway, these are number eight. I, you don't need two of them, you just need one. The reason I've got two is because if you do one jet, help me out, you're gonna need another. So you gotta have the hole in the bottom of the float bowl all nice and clean. Use a pick, get it all nice and clean, put this all together, put some grease on it or some oil in it, and then press it in, press it into the bottom of the, of the float bowl and begin to tighten it up, it'll catch don't let the tubes slip out while you're tightening up the gland washer, gland nut. And this, of course, is quarter inch BSF, but a real crummy 7 16 wrench will fit just fine. And that's a, that's a British standard brass thread, 26 threads per inch. Cool, huh? So anyway, that's the scoop. Hey, I want to remind everybody to uh, sign up for our MG Summer Party coming up August. So that begs the question, what party, what year, what date? Today is like the 7th of July, 2013. I'm talking about our 2013 party coming up August 17th. So you got the drill, you can fix these. You don't have to buy a whole brand new $40 jet if it's just this, which has gone faulty. Till then, safety fast.